Welcome back to another vlog. Ellis and I just ate at Cracker Barrel. He wanted omelets. They no longer serve omelets. So, yeah. I got me a hash brown casserole. We're about to go grocery shopping right now. We're about to go grocery shopping right now. Um, we want to change our diet up a little bit. Because we've just been eating process, process, process. So, this week we'll be doing um, like a Caesar salad wrap. We're going to do Taco Tuesday. We're going to get some boar head roast beef. If y'all ain't never tried that, try that. It's expensive, but try that. So good. Um, we'll try to find some healthy snacks. We need some water. And that's basically it. That'll last us until like Friday. Over the weekend, we can go do another round of shopping. But that's what we're about to head off and do. Because we got to get home by 1.45 so I can take my nap before I go back to work. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. See you at HEB. Hey everybody, welcome back to another vlog. I don't know if I already started this vlog off with another clip, but welcome back. I am at Massage Envy because my last day of work, I was a float nurse. It seems like I'm a float nurse once a week, which I like. Um, I don't have patients, I just help other nurses. And I'm the runner since we don't have, um, well, we did not have access to Cerner. So we were paper charting. So we had to run the labs to lab and get the results and all that. So I was basically the runner. But I was also assisting with, like, like basically doing PCC stuff. Like helping lift patients, um, clean patients, and all of that. So when I was helping uh, boost the patient up in bed, oh, my gosh. I don't know. I was using proper body mechanics, but it was a big boy, and my back said, ah! literally my neck in, like, in the middle of my shoulder blades, like, whenever I would turn my head, bend my head down, it would just spasm, so, it's not doing that today, it literally stopped after, like, 24 hours, but I scheduled a massage with my girl Kiko here in Central Texas and Harker Heights, um, if you're in this area. Kiko is the best and massage envy in Harker Heights. So, let me go in here and get my massage. I'll see y'all whenever I return because we have to go to the grocery store because I told Ellis that I wanted his mudslide cake, which is basically a German chocolate, but he is going to be looking pretty. He is be looking like a mudslide, so that's why we call it mudslide cake. So, I have to go to H-E-B to pick up um, the ingredients for that. So... I will see you guys whenever I get out of here. Hey, y'all. So, I'm in Walmart. I had to get some mailers so I can mail my mom um, her mother's today stuff off. Don't, don't judge me. And I'm also going to mail my mother-in-law and my father-in-law father -in their um, mother and father's day gifts off. But I'm over here looking at dog treats. Why are they so expensive? $37. I mean, I guess this is duck, and it is jerky, and it is a big bag. You know what? I might get this. That's a lot in there. I'm over here talking crap. I'm like, what is this so much? But it's a lot in there. It's duck. They got chicken as well. Chicken and sweet potato. This is gold. Golden rewards. Oh, is this just for golden retrievers? I already be like I do too much for runs because runs be acting up y'all runs be I'm gonna get these cinnamon rolls crunch and call it a day it's nine dollars but yeah like I was saying it let's say I do too much for runs because runs be bad but that's still my baby that's my first baby so okay let me go get this stuff to make this cake Hey y'all, so I'm still in Walmart. I'm over here in the baby section. Look at all the technology. I'm just looking at their cribs, their bassinets. Um, so I don't know if Ellis and I will actually do a nursery. Because, like, let's be real. I'm, be, I'm like a realist. And I'm like, how often would that baby be in there? Like, for real. Because it would be, like, all on the other side of the house. I'm not going to put the baby in there. 
the baby gonna be in our room. So I might just like transform like a section of our room into like a nursery whenever the time comes. But oh my goodness, I love this baby stuff. Look at the little chair, the cribs, the mini mouse bed. Let me get from over here. <laughs> hey everybody, so I'm sorry for the lighting. Um, I'm here at Milan Laser Hair Removal. Um, I get my face lasered, but really my chin. And if you have been here for a while, I don't know if y'all could notice, but I had like really bad like hatturism. <laughs> That is an abnormal amount of um, abnormal amount of hair growth um, in an area, and mine was along my jawline. Well, it started up my chin, and then it started to spread my jawline. And I said, "Oh no, we are not about to get a beard." So that's when I decided to finally bite the bullet and go get laser. I was um, debating between laser and ele electrolysis. You have to do your own research and see what's best for you. But for me, laser worked. Literally, the first the first session, I noticed the difference. Like, the hair was thinner. Like, I had thick black hair, y'all. Especially on this side. And as you can see, you can still see a little bit of discoloration right here. I'm working on that, but there's no hair there. This is my fifth session. In total, I have 10 sessions, but this will be my last session because you can't be in the sun, and it's about to be summer, and you can't get laser when you're pregnant, so I, I plan to be pregnant soon, so this will be my last um, laser for a while, um, maybe after I have the baby, after I'm done breastfeeding, I'll come back and get the rest of my treatments. Um, if not, I'll ask them, like, is there any way to, like, transfer them, like, to Ellis or somebody? Like, if I've already paid for them, can I transfer them to somebody? Because, like, my hair is, it doesn't grow back. It's so smooth. And I, I, I appreciate it so much. Between them and my esthetician who just recently moved away, like... <laughs> They kept my skin together, so I appreciate them in that. It is 12.15. My appointment is at 12.30. I am here early. Afterwards, I'm debating on if I want to go to Home Goods or just go back home because I do work tonight, so I need to go back to sleep. I only got a two-hour nap. So, yeah, that's what your girl is doing right now. Um, if y'all have any questions about getting lasered, um, you can always message me down below. Um, or if it's personal, you can follow me on Instagram and message me there. I will put my Instagram across the screen. Alright, y'all. I was watching Funky Dineva, um, Wednesday, June 5th show, so let me get back to it. Um, I don't know why, but I really like this. Like this. With this. Hey everybody, so Ellis and I are here at Home Goods. I didn't show y'all the artwork that I got yesterday at Home Goods after I had left um, 
be getting my wax. I'll show y'all whenever I get home. So today, what we are on a mission for is for a coffee table. What else? I think that's it. Mm -hmm. Coffee table. And you know, whatever homeless tells me to get. So, I will pick y'all up whenever we get into home goods if we see anything good. If we don't see anything good, I ain't pick you up. So, yeah. If we go eat somewhere here, I'll pick y'all up too. I'm very thirsty. I don't know why, but Ellis and I have been real thirsty. You thirsty, ain't you? Mm hmm. My throat's so dry. Mm hmm. Thirsty. I want some real good drink. Me want. too. No lemonade, Debbie. <laughs> Yo, we had, we supported, we were supporting the cause. We were supporting this little girl. What did she say? Softball team. Mm -hmm. Travel softball team. Yeah, she was selling lemonade. When I tell y'all that lemonade was so nasty, it just tastes like lemon water, like no sugar. But we were supporting the kids. So, let's go because y'all know I sit in here and talk. Hey y'all, so we are back in the car. We went to Kirkland's. Nothing was in... Home goods. I saw something that I, I liked a little bit in Kirkland's, but it wasn't in black. So we decided to come over here to H Mart. H Mart is the Asian like food mart, and they had a grocery store attached. So we've been here before. I think I, I have brought y'all along to this H Mart before. So I'm not going to do a whole bunch of montage, B roll footage. Nah. Y'all will see whatever we get. Hey y'all, so we are in H Mart. I literally that ate all of my sushi basically. All I got was a Philly roll. Ellis got some short rib and what is this? Spicy pork udon. Yeah. Everything was good. I'm full. I got some pineapple soda and he got a what is that? Honeydew. Honeydew boba smoothie. But they weren't as packed as they were last time. But I'm going to turn this off because they playing music. Bye. Hey, everybody. So, today we are at Dana Peak. It's a hiking trail. But they basically blocked off the main entrance to it. So, there's, like, other small, like, entrances. So, most of the hiking areas here um, by the lake has been blocked off because of all of the rain. It flooded out most of the parking area. So... Yeah, we're gonna see. We, Ellis and I have never hiked this area before, so this is be brand new for us. So I'll show y'all um, whatever we see. If it's anything interesting, I didn't pick the camera back up yesterday because we didn't buy anything. We had went to. Um, I showed y'all we went to. But it's people over here on this side. I don't know how to get over there. We're probably going to have to go to another park. To the same park we went in the last vlog. There's probably so many people out there though. I don't know what we're about to do. We're still here at Dana Peak, y'all. We found a, um, a route that's accessible. So I wanted to show y'all this because it looks like something from like the Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Ellis got his little walking stick he done found. Oh, is this the way you want to go? It was real muddy, y'all. I got my, my handy dandy fan that I picked up. Water 
water's so high. The what? The water's so high. It's a lot of buzzards. It's a lot of buzzards. Hey y'all, so we back in the car. We made it, y'all. We had got lost, but we made it. As you can see, I am sweating. The hat wet. Whew. But we made it. Now we're about to go to Smoothie King, get us some coke. Oh, I'm so hot. I'm so happy we made it. Oh. My, my um, watch gotta calculate. Ooh. We did three miles in 40 minutes. What? We did three miles in 40 minutes. Mm. All right, y'all. I'll show y'all the smoothie that I get. Can't take this hat off because y'all know it's an afro underneath this. This wind feels so good. These with the horses. So, Ellis and I are just starting our Sunday fun day. It is 12:19. We are about to go ahead and get some brunch, and then we're gonna go look at um, what is it, Bad Boys 4? And then we're gonna make our way back home and do um, some little fun day Sunday Sunday fun day activities with the dogs. I got them a new splash pad because they ripped the last one. So, I hope that y'all enjoyed today's vlog. Our brunch is gonna. Ellis got a little attitude because Ellis was looking for my car keys. Ellis took my car last night and he had my car keys. Now he put my. When he got back home, he put the car keys back in my purse. I did not know he put them back in my purse. So we over here trying to find the car keys and they over here in my purse. I didn't check my purse because. <laughs> Ellis! Stop your shenanigans! So, anywho, we find the keys. <laughs> and here we are in the car. So, he got a little attitude, but he'll be okay. <laughs> he mad at himself. Can't be mad at me. But, anywho, I'll see y'all whenever we get to our brunch spot. Hey, y'all. So, I didn't pick the camera up when we had went to Cracker Barrel. That was our brunch spot. Because they didn't bring out my little, my little eats, my little bites. So we went to the movies. We saw Bad Boys Four, and I liked it. I don't want to give away anything, but I like it. Uh, the movies was packed. Our movie um, theater was packed. They got you know like when like big releases come out, they have multiple theaters with the same movie. I think all of them was packed because the movies is packed right now. Um, so I think they're going to do really good their opening weekend. I hope they do anyway. Sorry if this is shaking. Who is hot? I'm sorry. Can we? I got to go to the... Open up windows. I got to go to the hair store. You know what? It don't matter. I can go tomorrow. We ain't got to go now. You want to stop by the one by house? Yeah, we can. We can stop by that one. But I was going to say, can we go to Taco Bell get a free... A breeze or whatever it's called. Talk about King. King all the way down there. It's been all the way down. It's like right It's closer than Taco Bell. But you Bell. have to go the other way. What you mean? Taco Bell on the way home. So is Smoothie King. No, we should go to Taco Bell. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, can we go watch Taco Bell? Y'all didn't see how I caught that, but I caught that thing. Because this thing cannot fall again. Okay? Let me. Cut it up. So this will, no, this will not be the last clip. Y'all gonna see me outside with Bronze Winter doing our Sunday fun day and then we will conclude this vlog. Y'all will see it on Monday, which is tomorrow because today is Sunday. So I'll see y'all when we get home. So let me get my 
made it back home. I'm about to take this wig off because <laughs> I'm just not used to wearing wigs. So having this on my head is a I'm about to go set up um the splash pad. Oh, I never showed y'all. Elvis put this up yesterday. That's the picture that I got from Home Goods. And I got the scones from Z Gallery. But I got the scones last year when they were on sale for $20. I think they're like $50. They might be more than that. But they were on sale for $20. And I was like, let me go ahead and get them. $20 a piece. So, yeah. I like the way it looks. So, now I am looking for... So you sell shoes. This house is lived in, okay? I ain't about to be like, excuse the miss. Look, this house is lived in. So I'm looking for... <laughs> I'm looking for a coffee table, black coffee table. And I'm looking for... Um, I don't know if I want to do pillowcases. Because we have so many pillows. I could just put pillowcases on them. But it's like I want those down feathered pillows that I can do the chop. And those aren't the pillows that I got. So... Do I want to be frugal or do I just want this? I probably will be frugal because we got we got to save our money because I got stuff to do. I got see her in a school. I'm not gonna be able to work for three years, so <sighs> we're just gonna speak into existence like I'm already in there. But see her in a school, I ain't gonna be able to work for three years, so we're just gonna find some pillowcases. I'm not saying the pillowcases gonna be any cheap because the pillowcases I've been looking at are like fifty dollars, fifty and up, so. So yeah, but anyway, like I was saying, <laughs> I need to go set up this splash pad for bronze and winter. I'm going to let them in because it's hot outside and they've been outside for about two hours, three hours. Come on. Come on. Y'all ain't hot. Come on. Come on, girl. Okay, bye. You not coming? Letting these dang flies in. Next time, I'm gonna close the door. I stay threatening them. And don't be about what I say about it. Let me take this wig cap off, too.